you, President, Commissioner. I welcome this FTA. It has important potential in terms of jobs and growth, not in the least for the EU in the current context of TPP, but also for Vietnam. But it's clear that this potential can only be realized if appropriate measures are taken to maximize positive and prevent negative impacts on human rights. Vietnam does face significant challenges in this field. Whether it's forced evictions of farmers or imprisonment of those seeking better labor rights. Therefore, could the Commission explain why it's not possible to undertake a proper ex ante human rights impact assessment so we can understand a roadmap for addressing our con concerns and improving the solution? It is also evident that the usual mix of instruments won't do the trick. Nor, not only do they have their shortcomings, which have been widely documented, but can we really just blindly transpose this approach on the most far-reaching FTA that has ever been achieved with a developing country. Some argue that the Commission's timid approach to human rights is exactly why it's important that under the Partnership and Cooperation Agreement there is a communication mechanism between EEAS and Parliament on the implementation of the PCA and capacity building to enhance the settlement of complaints by the affected communities. This is not about trying to undermine the FTA or pointing the finger at the Vietnamese government. This is about common sense that prevention is more effective and less expensive than cure and about casting a successful foundation for a strong, lasting strategic relationship with one of our key partners in Southeast Asia, especially in the current geopolitical context. Thank you. Thank you, colleagues. We now come to catch the eye and I have seven uh, speakers which I will give the floor to and I would